Hey, how's it going, folks? Yeah, so um, today I finally got that uh, Mitchell and Ness uh, 1988 Dykstra jersey that I've been wanting so much. And uh, I have, uh, I had a chance to get the 88 Rawlings version uh, yesterday, and it was for 110 bucks. And I, I saw the auction, I went upstairs because I was at work when I uh, saw the auction. I went upstairs, y'all. You know, handled some things and then came back to you know to buy it now at 110 it was gone poof like that i was like fuck man i didn't even get a chance i just bought it on impulse and i did it uh because I, I would love to do the comparison of that one with this version but anyways let's get into this one so yeah this is the 1988 cooperstown collection mitchell ness mets dykstra jersey it's a pretty cool fucking jersey oh part of my language but yeah it's a pretty cool jersey um, I just wanted to say, though, like, there's certain differences that Mitchell Ness has done. Even though I have no complaints about this, this is excellent. The quality is really superior on this. But, uh, I, mi I think they missed certain marks. Like, like for instance, this is a little bit too too wide. But, I mean, it's also a big jersey, which, you know, like I said, it's, uh, yeah, 56, made in USA. So, I gotta get this resized. I'm gonna take this... After I do this video in a little while to get it resized. And hopefully I can, like, get the Rollins version and then get a compare and, and do the actual comparison. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of uh, differences about it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like with the lettering here. I believe on the Rollins version, it was, um, like a dazzle. And I feel like this is a little too bold, the white on it. I mean, it's still nice. And the quality, like I said, is excellent on this tackle tool. It's really good quality. It's not going to bubble up on you. But, yeah, uh, on the older versions, like Rollins and even Russell Athletic back in the early 90s, because they had to do this word mark with the button-down ones that came up after this uh, jersey. They uh, they did a dazzle, and I believe they were, like, either horizontally or vertical. Like, you can see lines that were horizontally or vertical. And I remember Mitchell Ness on the practice Bad and practice jerseys had the opposite. It was also horizontally and vertical. I just don't remember. But we'll get into that because I'll show you. I have those jerseys and I'll show you what I mean when I compare them. But like I said, this is a great jersey. I love uh, the quality. It's, it's it's really thick. I think it's polyester. Um. Also, yeah, like here on the back. If you see here on the back, right? It's, it's uh this quality here. It's really, it's really good. It's a nice shiny tackle twill. You know what I mean? It's thick, but not bubbly. It's perfect. You know, it's definitely of high quality. The number, I think, is actually perfect. It's on point. But yeah, the lettering is slightly off. Like, the lettering on this is uh, a little bit too bold. Should be a little bit more narrow, the, the fonts. You know, and like, that's why I wanted to get the Rollins version that I saw online that it freaking lost... Or didn't even have a chance to get. <laughs> because I wanted to really you know, pull the comparison with the the lettering on the font of the last name. But uh, like I said, it's still a great jersey. You know what I mean, it's, it's definitely high quality. And it's from like back, you know, from a few years back. So it's much better than some of the current stuff that is coming out. But yeah, that's this one. Uh, I'm going to get this resized later on today. I probably won't have it ready for me till about a week or two from now, but you know what I mean? I'll, uh, I'll definitely, um, you know, get into that. And then I'll definitely try to get the Dykstra jersey, like I said, the Rawlings, so I can pull the side by side comparison. So, yeah, you see what I mean here, like with the lettering? In fact, let me just bring this one back because you'll notice certain things here, like. See, it's a. Uh, you see how that dazzle looks, and it's shinier. And then you see here, it's it's kind of different. Let me see. Uh, and like, yeah, even the W kind of looks different compared to that one. E is kind of. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's still it's still a good jersey. It's awesome, really. And the 80, this is the Russell Athletic version. Yeah, but uh, the 88 version of Rollins is pretty much the same kind of lettering on the front. So, yeah, they kind of miss it. It's a little bit more bold, the uh, word mark. But I don't mind it. I like it. It's fine. Really. I'm like, yeah. 
I, but like even with the four and see like here with the good and one that i showed in previous videos it's also dazzle you see there you go you know, but you know i figured if they if missile nest did the batting practice jerseys with the dazzle why wouldn't they do the the you know road jersey with the same dazzle texture i think it would have stood out a little bit more and i think the lettering would have been more on point if they would have followed the uh the original Mets lettering like here, you see like it's totally different. It's it's more narrow. You know, and it has a nice dazzle. Like it's very nice. Yeah, this guy was a utility guy, Chico Walker. But uh, you know, it's a game worn in Jersey so supposedly. So I just I just wanted it. I got it at a good deal. And like I said, I got this jersey because uh the William Shea Memorial Pass. That was the main reason why I wanted this jersey. But yeah, I'm like when we do the uh, the back four here, you can kind of oops, you can kind of see a difference with that one compared to that one. And then here's just like that basic tackle twelve, but like I said, it's definitely of superior quality. It's excellent. The stitching is excellent. Everything about it. But yeah, you can even tell, look at the last names. You see how the Dykstra looks off compared to like the official Met lettering for last names. But you know, like I said, it's, it's I have no complaints other than that. I mean, it's not even a claim. I actually like it. It's different. And the same thing with this, you know, put the dazzle. But yeah, uh, eventually I'll get the, uh, what's he called? The Dykstra Rollins, I'm going to have, hopefully I can get it at a, I was so pissed off because when I lost that auction, it was like at a great size. I think it was like 40 or 44. I can fit those sizes and I was just like, damn, I couldn't freaking, I didn't even have a chance to buy it now. Like, shit, I should have just did it as soon as I saw it on an impulse, but I didn't. Uh, but, you know, they always have those jerseys out on eBay. Like, hopefully I can just get the blank one and then send it to, you know, exclusive pro and then have them have EPS do it and... You know, they, they can actually get you the Dazzle uh, lettering and numbering. So, I don't think it'll be an issue. And then I can put them side by side. And I'll have that Dykstra jersey uh, resized to my uh, to my size. But And I picked this up for like 30 bucks at T... Yeah, what was it? TJ Maxx? There's a TJ Maxx in my neighborhood. So, I was like, let me just go see what they had. And I usually wear a medium, but... You know, it's still good. I could layer up with this. It's just basically a, a Mitchell Ness Mets Cooperstown track jacket. I mean, uh, coach jacket. But it's nice because at least they have this part, which is embroidered uh, onto the jacket. But, yeah, this is another thing with me. It's a mystery with this Met logo. I always see it on, like, Cooperstown stuff from, like, Majestic or Mitchell Ness. I, I've never really seen this logo on like any official Mets uniform in any era of their existence. So it's it's kind of, it's weird for me. You know? I feel like it's like with the Yankees, how they have like three versions of their NY, the cap, you know, the jersey, you know, and then like their other logo that they use in like advertising and all that. So like, yeah, this one I always see on Cooperstown stuff. I have like maybe a hoodie also from Mitchell and us that has that same kind of a style. It's really rounded here. You know what I mean? Like, they're usually off. Even starter, they they had like a rounded version that extended more out outwards. It was a little bit longer here, but like they're always off with this. You know what I mean? Like, I always think of the original NY insignia that the Mets have, which is, you know, it's it's not as rounded there. It's 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 more clean cut. Oh, this looks, I don't know, looks like a bunch of bones put together. <laughs> I don't know, but I still like this jacket. It's awesome, and it's like rainproof so i don't have a issue with this jacket but yeah uh so like i said when i get the uh rollins dykstra jersey i'll have that done and then i'll compare it with the uh, resized mitchell ness one so you can see the differences but i'm actually like i said I, i've been hunting for this jersey for like years so i'm glad i actually got it so uh take care guys and uh, i'll come up with another video soon i know i was going to do hockey but that's actually going to take me a while because i got to get some items for those yet so it's not ready for that but i think i'll come up with another i don't know i got a few more jerseys on me that i can uh, show i definitely want to do like some hat videos i definitely got a nice collection of uh like 
local New York teams that I really like, like the Devils in hockey, and a few teams that are not local, non-local teams, but I just like the hat for whatever reason. So definitely would like to give you guys a, you know, a little show on that. All right. Well, take care, guys, and thanks for watching.